Welcome back to Ohio and American Life Farming. We're heading down to the shop in the TLX at the moment because uh, we've got the uh, flatbed trailer on this. Uh, heading down to pick up something that's going to allow us to do some work uh, around one of our fields. What I want to do is increase the amount of space we've got. Uh, to work with our grass for next year. We need to make an awful lot of uh, hay. So uh, yeah, we're gonna be uh, we can be gonna be increasing in the size of one of our fields. To do that, we need to get rid of a load of trees. Um, I did a little bit of experimenting and discovered that actually, um, as much as I'd like to get a, uh, a, a chainsaw, and to uh, work uh, to cut the trees and make money from the wood. The trees are placed in such a way that it's just going to cause a problem. So what we're going to do instead is uh, hire a pretty big piece of equipment that should allow this just uh, absolutely burn through this. So the piece of equipment we're going to get is this. The Lizard Trex 600. Uh, this is a this is a fantastic piece of kit. If you have any trouble with any trees on a map, grab this. Uh, it's really really useful. We're gonna put it in the John Deere Green because we basically have a John Deere Green farm. Um, I'm gonna put the forestry cage on it and the wheel setup. Um, are various. So we've got the standards, the wides, and the uh, the wide plastic. We're going to go with the wide metal, I think, because we're going through the snow on this. And therefore, we want to uh, have the um, ground a little bit uh, not sink in quite so much. So let's uh, lease this. It's going to cost us 9,800 to lease this. Uh, but it is going to make all the difference for us. So it's over here. Yeah, there it is. The Lizard Trex. This is this is just a brilliant piece of kit. Um, you could also get a uh, a bit of kit for the back of this, which is a ooh, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to go wide on this trailer with this. I think we do have a wide setting. Can we unfold the wide bit on this? Uh, X. Yeah, there we go. So this adds the uh, the nice wide slats. Allow this to go on here a little bit better. Because, yeah. Uh, lift up the front. On to the back of the trailer, like so. It does take up quite a large area of this as well. There we go. Oh, turn it off and hopefully we should be able to get this back fairly easily um, I meant to pick up there's a mod you can get that straps vehicles down I meant to pick that up and add the, to this but we don't have it uh, we'll turn on our beacons start her up and away we go We're only halfway through winter I think I'm going to have to do some feeding of the cows uh, today as well because uh, they're getting a little bit low they're getting a bit, a little bit low uh, yes we could we could do with some uh, with just maybe emptying the remaining TMR into there uh, just to keep them going a bit uh, but uh, yeah we're, we're trying to move through I'm not selling the next set of cows yet we have some that have reached uh, the correct weight um, I'm not going to sell them quite yet because they... Oh, I'm on the wrong side of the road. Uh, because I, I want to try and get them to £1,400. Uh, and we'll see how much money they make when they get to uh, that level. So we're approaching the farm, but we are not going to go in the main gateway. We're heading over to this area over here. Uh, this is a whole section of trees that, that kind of sits at the side of field 12. Um, but would be quite useful for us to remove and just look at the space that uh, that this would add. So I'm going to bring this in here. The sun never gets very high in the sky at this time of year. 
Uh, and then hopefully we can just, uh, yeah, then have a nice big bit of field coming through here. We might even plow this bit out here as well. In fact, I'm going to get rid of this tree too. Uh, just leave these two, give us a nice little bit up to here. Um, and then we're going to remove most of these trees over here. This one, uh, this one, uh, those two over there. That one there, this one here. I want to leave enough of a line, really. Ah, you see, yeah, I think that can go as well. I think we want to take everything. Do we want to go right up to here? I think we probably do, actually. We've got a bit there, so I think we'll probably leave that one there. But the rest of this can all go. And we can have a nice big grass field stretching out there. These trees are all a little bit ugly, and I'm not a great fan of them. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna remove most of them. Uh, I think that yeah, this has. We could actually go up to here, and create a second little one round here. But I think uh, I think we'll just we'll get rid of everything around here first to make us some space. So bring this out. And we will get the back of our trailer up. There we go. Unfold that. Can actually do that with my joystick. That's good. Right. There we go. Uh, we'll turn the lights up as well. Perfect. Into the tracks. <laughs> Lift it up. And back it off. This is a really mean piece of kit. Right. And turn it on. And you'll see why we need to use this piece of kit to remove this in a bit. Because the moment I get anywhere near this tree, just look at look at the effect of that had. Um, you can't cut these with a... Uh, uh, with a um, chainsaw. They just do not cut. I think it's because of the way they're placed. They're sort of... Yeah, look at that. don't think we can get that one. I'd like to. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah, you can clean up everything this with this. You're not going to make any money from these trees, but you're not going to do that anyway because of the way they are. Uh, it just makes it a really easy piece of kit to use and to clean up all of this with. Yeah. They just fall through the map. But yeah, look at the size of, uh, of area we have already opened up uh, by removing these. And I don't mind planting new trees. I, you know, we could uh, we could put a new little woodland in or something around here maybe a copse of trees i don't think this gets rid of bushes plowing will but yeah this doesn't so let's okay that just blinked out of existence there we go that's got that one that one yeah right and the one i'm gonna leave is just the one at the end there Need to get rid of this uh, and rid of this. There we go, and then we can pull uh, the field around here. Fill up. Yeah, look at we, we're almost doubling the size of field 12 by removing this these trees. And this one is taking a little bit more to remove. It is still there, and we are still we're riding over a bit of it. There we go. And a little bit of it there. Yeah, look at that. So this is just a massive area uh, that we've now opened up that we can add to this field and make just... Either, either make a giant grass field with, which I think is the way I want to go, or I could add another large arable field to the farm with. There we are. And this out too. And you do have to plant trees uh, to replace them. Actually, we are going to get rid of all these because all of these are a little bit weird. And therefore, 
we might as well clear them all out open up our farm and uh, and make this all a little bit better look at that look at all this space we've opened up and I could, could just add a small bit of uh, a small selection of trees there actually no I am going to leave that last one so that's pretty cool now are there any other trees on the farm I want to get rid of quite possibly uh, I'm going to drive this over this way there is one tree that we know is an issue Ah, I also wonder can we cut that arm and that arm of this off and leave the main tree let's see so I am going to get a chainsaw and you'll see how wonderful this works on these trees now so uh, we'll get a style yes please yeah look at look at where that's sitting so I want to cut this as close to the ground as I can get. Yeah, and you can see. So that's got rid of that one under the ground. I want to do the same with this one here. I take it there. Just falls through the map and disappears. Uh, but that is all good. Uh, that means we've cleared that tree up. That is a little bit more of a normal tree now. Um, but, yeah, here's where the problem comes in. So if I go and show you this now, I've got a collision here left uh left from that branch and i got a collision here left from this branch so what i'm going to do now is we're going to take the treks back it off and see if we can get rid of those collisions because if i can do that that will work nicely made the whole tree go never mind yeah so uh yeah that's that's the problem with trees you can cut them and you can sort them but uh you do get left with uh collisions and things so i'd rather i'd rather be gone with them as a result than uh than have that issue kicking about and we can uh, probably plant some new ones i think and then i'm gonna go and do the same thing over here because we have one other tree that just massively gets in our way over this way. In fact, you know what? I'm going to get rid of these trees around here. We're going to plant a new woodland at this end. Uh, I think it uh, would work better than, uh, than these trees around here. Yeah, this one is the one that sits in our roadway and uh, we need to get rid of. There we go. So we can put a new tree in there. And then uh, I'd like to plant a new woodland over here. So we'll get rid of these ones as well. Just basically clearing up and getting rid of a whole load of trees. Can I get that out of... See, I can't even target that. It's so far under the ground. Now I'm just looking like uh, my uh, we got attacked by a tr by trees. Never mind. Right, this is why we have the forestry bit on it try and make sure that this is uh, not an issue see that has now skewered this properly skewered this there we are but it won't there we go that's one And 
Right, I want to see if we can find somewhere we can actually cut this. Yes, we can. This bit now is acting a little bit more like a real tree. Right, but we can now back off and clear it up. Perfect. So yeah, you see these, uh, getting these out of the way and clearing this up is, uh, is going to make a difference to us. You want to kind of get it to drop into the front. You do that, you, you're laughing. Right, that is probably all the areas that we want to sort with this. And we get this last little bit of tree. Yep, there we go. Perfect. Right, so when the ground thaws now, we'll be in a position where we can go and replant uh, this whole area with uh, new trees. And, uh, and do us quite well. And for only a, a very small amount of time that we've had to borrow this tracks for. We'll clear all of these out. There we go. And off. Perfect. Right. So we'll go park this up because we need to go and have a look at our next job to do. Uh, so we've got no crops to sell at the moment, I don't think. I don't think we've got anything that is uh, good to do that with. Let's have a quick look. Uh, we've got some barley. Uh, we've got some uh, oats canola. We've got a lot of sunflowers, a lot of soybeans, uh, we've got some corn as well. And that, I think, is it. Oh, yeah, that is it. So, uh, it's not very much. We've got 14,000 litres and 12,000 litres of those two. So, I think we can probably sell... Uh, barley reached its peak previous day. Canola is on the way down. So I'm not too worried about those. Uh, they're not huge amounts. They'll uh, do for emergency funds. What we do need to do is go and jump in our tractor and uh, probably give our cows the remainder of the mixed ration that we've got. So into the four, uh, 4440. Hook this up. And we can then go and keep basically looking to keep our cows going for as long as possible. So we have a bit of money at the moment. Um, I'm s uh, I am spending it a little bit, but it's not a huge problem. Now we can either, I don't think we can place trees anymore. I think we have to plant them. So uh, we will get that out. Yeah, and in we go with this. Turn it on. So it's mixing and empty it out. There we go. This little this tractor has been perfect for for the yard work on here. This forty four forty worked out really really well uh, for doing this. Let's have a look in the placeable section though. Can we place decoration wise? It's only houses and miscellaneous. It is also only houses. So yeah, nothing, nothing we have around there to to do. Uh, everything else is sheds and uh, and bits. That has put the rest of this out, which means our cows are now in the green with that, which is good news. Uh, we can turn the mixer off on that and get that done. And yeah, that's pretty. Uh, that's a pretty good place for us to be now. Uh, so we are going to be expanding that field up there and we are going to be planting some trees as well. It's a pity that it's minus two at the moment because we could really do 
with uh, doing that kind of work over the winter. It may be something we do in the spring, though, uh, when things get a little bit warmer. Back this up. Last job for me for today is to clear out the cows. Uh, so we'll get this down on the ground. Collect up this silage and we we'll just tip this in. It'll keep the cows going a little bit longer. Uh, especially with uh, sort of this much silage. There we are. So that will keep them going a little bit longer. And out it comes. We have a huge amount of manure to sell at some point. So we've got this massive pile in here. The cows are just walking all over. Um, we need to get rid of those at some point. Uh, and yeah, the only other thing we've got is the sunflowers and the... Uh, sunflowers and soybeans. Uh, sunflowers sell in uh, getting towards the end of the year, so we're not far from selling those off. Soybeans are much later. They are next summer. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be a while before those are good. However, I think that is probably a good place for us to finish today. So slightly shorter video, but... Uh, we are moving through winter. We are probably going to skip a day or two. Cows are, you can see, a little bit down on the weight still. We've got some at 1,200, uh, some coming up to 1,200. So we want to get them a little bit larger before we go and sell them. Uh, so I'm going to leave this here for now. Uh, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.